Hello Aries and welcome to your December 2023 tarot forecast. So let's get right in and see what is happening for you guys in the month of December. Show us Aries. Oh, you got the three of sacred circles, the three of pentacles, Aries. December is a month where things are really building and growing for you. Things are coming together for you. Some of you, <clears throat> there may be some unexpected money coming in, having more money in December than you thought that you were going to have. Really feeling a part of things, feeling supported feeling strong, feeling stable, feeling good, feeling like everything's falling into place and coming together for you. So Aries, this is a fantastic card. And, you know, just look at the clouds. You got the bear and, you know, that represents great strength, right? And then you've got the bird here. It looks like an eagle. The eagle is the symbol of great wisdom. Okay, um, the bridge between heaven and earth. So you're very uh, strong, you're robust, and you are being strongly guided by the light of your soul. You feel really good, you feel really confident in yourself in December, or you feel really confident in a decision that you're making or that you did make in the past. Things are really coming together and falling into place for you, Aries. Let's pull some more cards and go deeper into this message. Eighth house, um, endings and beginnings, and Venus with love. Oh my goodness, Aries. Okay. So what I'm getting here is all of this progress and growth is coming more after the ending of something. Like this is the part this is part of your new beginning or this is the growth that's now coming in after you've been moving through a new beginning, a big change, a big shift in your life. And this could be in a relationship, in a job, within the family, you know, um, your life in general. But this here is energy where something has ended, something has changed in the past, and now you are finally feeling grounded finding your footing in this new path, in this new energy, on this new journey. And, you know, we got love down there with Venus. So your overall emotion is very happy and content with this growth. And some of you, this could be speaking of a new romantic love relationship that has just come into your life or is going to come into your life in December. And this would be a new romance after you had a hard ending with somebody else, you know, somebody that you had a lot of emotion and feeling for. Maybe you guys had a lot of history with each other, okay, but the relationship had run its course, it's done, it's over. And now some of you, there's this beautiful new love that has recently entered or is about to enter and you and this person are meant to um, build and grow with each other. So let's pull some more cards, Aries, and go deeper into your message. I get that some of you are finally feeling happy again. Manifestation with shooting star. That's pretty nice. Mountaintop, spiritual enlightenment. Wow, how perfect is that? I mean, we got the eagle right there. And sunflower with synchronicities. Aries. Beautiful. And look, you've outgrown this and blessed. And what that tells me 
is whatever this change was in the past, this ending in the past, it was very necessary because you, you had outgrown that situation, uh, that relationship, that job, whatever it was for you specifically, okay? You've truly outgrown it. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel that for all of you, you were excited for this ending when it happened. But now you're getting to a place where you're realizing that that ending is, was truly a blessing because of what's manifesting for you now. And you've been getting signs and synchronicities. And there's something about December where they all like finally make sense. Like there's something really special about that. The, the way something's manifesting and coming in and like the synchronicities and signs that were leading up to that, you're feeling very close to spirit because of just the happiness, the joy, the way that you're feeling. You're feeling wise and strong. You're feeling like I'm making the right decisions for me. I'm on the right path. Finally feeling comfortable. Some of you could be, like, this could be a big move. I mean, I just see the map here on Gaia. This could have been, like, a moving situation, um, changed your living situation. And it's, you know, as you end December, you're going to feel very happy about it. If you were nervous or you weren't too happy about it in the past, you're finally feeling comfortable, you're happy, you're satisfied. Aries, you just, you look very happy to me. All is finally well. All right, let's pull some more cards. Everything's falling into place so perfectly, so synchronistically. King of Cups, Seven of Wands, Knight of Cups, Eight of Cups, Death Card, and the Hierophant. Okay, so the Death Card is the ruler of Scorpio in the Tarot, and you've got the Eighth House there, which is the house that Scorpio rules in the zodiac okay so strong scorpio energy coming through aries um and what i feel about this is it's transformational it's phoenix rising from the ashes and here you got this eight of cups okay in this position this is the good side in this position this is when you're walking away or something's walking away from you and it can be very painful, right? When it's in this position, the ending has already happened and enough time has passed now where, you know, the pain, the sadness, the experience of it, all of that's now transforming into wisdom and you're feeling blessed. There's something new that's coming into your life and I just find this very synchronistic that this card is shooting star, okay? And then here is the shooting star on this card. They are literally going in the same direction. And that's just, you know, a synchronicity that's coming in for you. And that's pretty magical if you ask me. There's, you know, wish upon a star. Something beautiful and magical is happening for you, Aries. And for those of you where this is a new romance, um, it's very solid. It's very true. This person, um, they could be a water sign. If they're not, they're just, they have a strong water personality. They're very sensitive. They're very in tune with their emotions. They care deeply. They could be a hopeless romantic. They believe in love. And they kind of put you on a pedestal, the way that they look at you, the way that they think about you.
And interesting, some of you are returning to your, your faith, your belief, your connection to spirit, your connection to God, or connection to um, a religion that you may believe in. And it's whatever this change or ending was in the past, it may have put distance between you and your connection with spirit from your perspective because it was so painful, it was challenging, it was hard, it was how could this be spirit? And now that you're at this point on your journey and you're, you're able to look back, you're realizing, wow, I see why that particular situation or relationship had to end or why this had to change in my life. Because look at where I'm at now. Look at everything that's happening for me now. Everything is finally falling into place. I'm feeling safe. I'm feeling comfortable. I'm feeling whole. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling loved. And so I, I see it as strengthening in your connection with spirit. I see you feeling incredibly blessed. And watch for those shooting stars, Aries. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups, the Emperor, the Chariot, Two of Wands, and the Tower. Wow. By the end of December, Aries, I'm telling you, you're looking back on something and you're saying, wow, that was truly a blessing in disguise. That was divine intervention. I never thought I would feel this way or see things this way, but I just, I cannot deny it. I'm so happy now. This is abundance. This is feeling really good with where you are, with what's happening, with what's going on. Okay? And finally realizing something of the past that you thought was a loss or that you missed out on. Finally realizing that you had the upper hand and that not playing out as you had hoped. Okay? Because you see whatever ended in the past as a victory for yourself now today. And you're satisfied with the choices that you have made. You are at peace. And <clears throat> if this is a, a new romance, this person is very serious about you, Aries. Very serious about you. And they could, um, they could have some money in the bank with that nine of pentacles and that emperor energy somebody who's very responsible very established in their life in their career takes things seriously is ready to be in a committed relationship this person might be older than you aries and whether they're a, a feminine or a masculine their energy is showing is very masculine which tells me they're in control they're a leader they're strong they're confident very responsible dependable type of person but also they're sensitive and in tune they could be a bit intuitive or just outrightly spiritually gifted Things are falling into place perfectly and synchronistically, and it feels magical. You feeling as though you couldn't uh, plan it if you tried, like just the way the universe boom, boom, boom is unfolding everything. You're like, wow, and see that spiritual enlightenment with this. Aries, your relationship with spirit, with your spirit guides, with your angels, you know, however you connect to the divine is going to be strengthened or restored because I get some of you were feeling very punished, very confused. I don't understand why this is happening. I don't understand why I'm going through this and it, it pulled you away from spirit. 
and I've been there, Aries, I've been there. But now, again, you're on the other side and you're finally seeing, okay, I understand why that had to happen because if that didn't happen, then I wouldn't be where I am right now today. And this, today, I love Venus, I love. And it was magical. And also, Aries, again, pay attention to those shooting stars. All right, let's uh, see what the astrological dice bring. Okay, so we got the North and South Node coming through. And, um, you know, the North Node just moved into your sign in July and moved in, the South Node moved into Libra um, at the same time. And so this is rebuilding um, new growth, a lot of new energy for you, Aries. And, you know, you got the Emperor coming out. That's the card that represents you in the tarot. And very interesting is you got Scorpio coming through right here and Scorpio right here and right here transformation endings beginnings phoenix rising from the ashes karma is balanced so um you know the seventh house is ruled by libra and libra just went into or the south node just went into libra right so i feel that you have balanced a lot of your karma okay and this is meant to really, like your path is meant to really start smoothing out and having closer connections, stronger connections. In December, Aries, as you are exiting December and going into January, you're happy. You're okay with the way 2023 has unfolded and you're quite content with what you're holding in your hands now. And just the way everything came together for you. So it's a very, very positive time, Aries. Release. Lighten your load. See? Things are going to feel easier as you move through December. Your happiness level is raising. You're feeling connected to spirit in the universe once again and something very magical with those synchronicities for you guys, all right? So those are your messages, Aries. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.